Hi, y'all. Uh, it's CC, your friendly MCA, and I am here to introduce you to the new way of using command to track referrals that you are receiving checks for. So this is this is when you have referred a client out to another agent. That agent handles the transaction and does all the work, and you get uh, usually a 25% cut. Right? The check arrives in the office. What I'm going to show you now is how you will be using command and moving forward to first document that you have um, established a referral agreement with someone and put everything but your documents and for compliance and move through the offers and the commissions so that you can use command to track your expected income from referrals. So what I've got here on the screen, I've got a contact, Leanne, Dyer, uh, uh, Leanne Day. She's a good friend of mine. It, anything goes wrong and she gets an email, she knows what this is. So we're all good. This is a test. Um, so Leanne, I have set up as a buyer. So I have created a buyer opportunity for her. And I've just filled in all of the classic information that you guys are used to. Um, we do this when we've got, um, we want to make sure we do this when we get to the under contract stage. That's the most important part. As you can see, I've already selected a property. Um, this happens to be my parents' address in Charleston. <laughs> so we're going to pretend my friend in Winston-Salem is buying my parents' or is, is, uh, yeah, is buying my parents' house. Um, we've come through. We've been in all of the classic information from the agent that we've referred to uh, at the under contract stage. We've gotten an estimated close date because the contract has a close date. We've got a contract date. We're saying this happened uh, July 8th. Our referral commission rate, this is what I want to highlight really strongly, our referral commission rate typically is 25%. It can be different from that. Uh, I've seen as high as 40%. Um, and so we want to put the commission rate in it. I'm going to show you why in just a second. So we're going to move through this just like you would any other opportunity, buyer profile. This one tells me that Leanne is not in my app. I'm okay with that for right now. This is a referral. I want to focus on moving through the documents, offers, and commissions. In documents, when you come over here, Normally, you only see buyer residential. That's what we're all used to seeing because that's what we're all used to using command for, actual transactions that we or our teams are running. Now you have an outside referral option. So when you click on under contract, you now have a place to put your referral agreement because you're going to use a referral agreement regardless of whether you use Kelly and KW to send or receive referrals. You're going to have a referral agreement with all of your details and your BIC will sign it. That is required in a referral agreement. So we now have a place here for your referral agreement for compliance. We also have sometimes we're lucky enough to get a copy of the closing documents with the final um, referral check. So we've got a place for that. It is not required for compliance, but it is good to have uh, in this documentation if you are lucky enough to receive it. Okay. So those are the two documents that come with referrals. The referral agreement itself, that is required here, and the closing documents if you're lucky enough to get those. They're very helpful. All right. Now to the real meat of this how you fill out an offer because it's a little bit different than how we than the information we put in a regular offer when we are running the transaction ourselves um, so i'm going to add a new offer and we're going to call this referral put a couple of extra r's in there referral terms i've already got a set in there um, so we'll call that too. All right. So really simple. It's going to pull in the offer date and the close date if you filled those in in the opportunity details. If not, you're going to have red stars here and you're going to need to fill that information in. The next step is to add the property. I know my uh, video is right over it, um, but just from the offer to purchase, you would put in the address name and Again, I know you can't see it all the way because my face is in the way. Um, I've typed in my parents' address and it's pulled up my parents' address automatically. It's one of the great things about command. It's connected to uh, great information. All right, so now we're going to fill in the party's information. Again, just like you would with a regular offer. 
So Leanne is my friend. We're calling her the buyer. We'll say the seller is another one of my good friends uh, that Leanne knows. So that's a signal in case I actually uh, send this to her. So we'll say Casey is the seller. Again, information from the offer to purchase because you should be in communication with the agent that you referred your client to. Let's see, representation. This one pretends that I'm the agent and we're gonna say the very first Keller Williams agent that I met, his name is Greg Flanagan. He's a wonderful friend of mine. We'll say that he is the representation on the other side. So we filled in the required information there. Now we come on to the terms. Normally in the terms, you'd be in the cash section, you'd be putting in the sale price. What you want to do here, again, you want to know the sale price. You're going to do your, the, your, your calculations, your 3%. So we're going to say that the sale price was $200,000. You've learned this information from the agent you referred out to. 3% of that is $6,000. And you're going to get a 25% cut of that. So the numbers you're working with are $200,000. That's the sale price. 6000 that's the other agent's GCI, and what you're looking for is 1500 So in this cash section, where you're putting in what you, where you normally would put in the sale price, the sale price you're thinking of for the referral is actually the $6,000 in expected commission GCI total that the other agent's going to get a check for. So that's the information you want to put into the cash terms. There isn't anything else you have to put in here. All right. We don't have to put anything in agent analysis, so we're going to leave that empty. And because this one actually matches the one I've already accepted, we're going to move forward because commissions is already open. And you're going to see, here's what I want you to, to, want you to look for. I put in $6,000 to get, that is the expected GCI from the other agent. What you're going to see on the commission tab is that it pulled the 25% from the detail section and the 6,000 from the GCI here and it's going to show like magic that your expected total check is 1500 that is the check that i would be expecting to receive in my office to process for you as a result of this agreement and again just like any other commission at this point you're walking through your agent details you're looking at your cap status you can see clearly i've not capped um, and uh, we're, we're at August 5th, and clearly I've not updated my cap to the 16,000 we now have. Um, so you'd work through this if you wanted to take any, uh, make any contributions to the Bolt Scholarship Fund, to the KW Local Fund, to the KW National Fund. Um, you could do that here just like you can with any normal commission. Um, and we'll just assume that this one's all ready to go and click Submit. Oh, and see, it reminds us, do we want to make a donation to KW Cares? That's the normal one. I'm just gonna keep this one clean because it's our sample. Let's say apply. And now I have my button. My commission is under review by my MCA. That's your signal to know that this has made it to me. It's in my inbox. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to recognize it. When I get that mystery check in the mail, I'm going to check here first. And it's gonna meet, what that means is you're gonna get paid faster because you've already provided me with the information I need to match up your expected referral with the checks that come in the mail. All right. It's really that simple using the buyer opportunity pipeline and the new uh, outside referral checklist to create your tracking system for your outside referrals. Um, hope this has been helpful and I can't wait to start seeing these pop up in my inbox. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.